All right, so it's been a frustrating night. Uh, made a nice episode for you, only to find out that the audio, my sound card, had an issue, so I just haphazardly plugged it into the other port. Well, Windows 10 has this, like, surprise, surprise, has an issue where um, if you uh, change the sound card and it's a, it's capable of doing 48 hertz, it basically throws the entire system off. So what ends up happening is the recording ends up with fat voice. Uh, I end up sounding like this. And there's all kinds of, like, like audio glitches. And so what happens is I can't use it. So I basically, what you've missed, I finished fishing with the Borga and have returned to the location that we were in before to see if we can't find some swordfish. There were a bunch of them out here, and there were also tuna. So right now we're going to kind of putz around a little bit and see if we can't find them. I know they're out here. We just got to find them. Uh, let's see. They are out here somewhere. A cool thing that I learned uh, since I've talked to you last time, uh, and I just learned it by accident, you can actually catch tuna also using the spear. Now, or the harpoon. Um, however, be aware that the harpoon fishing does not bring as much income in with the tuna. You're better off catching all swordfish if you can. While the tuna are great, uh, and if that's all you can find, then get them. But they end up bringing about a third less. So uh, I had caught a full boat full of swordfish and made $74,000. A, a half boat of tuna, half swordfish was only worth fifty. So that's assuming if you just got all tuna, you'd only make like 30 or something like that, you know. So you really, actually, it's, a, it's actually like half of what the swordfish are worth. So you're better off catching swordfish because they're worth more. Gosh, there's nothing out here now. Perfect. <laughs> of course. Uh, it was all going so well. At least I thought it was. They are out here. I know they're out here. Ah, uh, there we go. I got some. So one of the neat things that I like about this, and I was, you know, I've got a lot of things I'm going to try to cover. Those are tuna, I think. Yeah, we got some tuna fish. There you go. You can see one right there. Um, I don't want tuna though. I want, I want swordfish. Boy, they're not swimming in uh, groups either. That'll make it a little bit hard to catch. But at least we know there's tuna there. Let's see if we can find some swordfish out here. Uh, one of the points that I wanted to make, um, I really do like how they've incorporated this into the game, and I, I am excited to have... This might be my new favorite form of fishing. It is difficult at first, but you can make so much money with the swordfish, like, at the beginning. <laughs> now, later on in the game, when you get the big boats, you're going to make a lot more money. But this is fun to start with to make... You know, be bringing almost a hundred thousand dollars in every time you go out. That's that's a nice feature. Anything out here? The sun will be coming up soon. That'll help us spot things. Let's see where we're at. I know I found them off to the right before, so I'm gonna see if I can swing this way a little bit and see if we can find some fish. Uh, but another thing that I like that they've done with this is now because of the, the spotting fish, and eventually I think, I, supposedly, and I don't know if this is working or not, but uh, eventually I guess you'll be able to spot seagulls also. Um, and I like that because, you know, it makes the binoculars worth buying. In the last game, they had all these upgrade binoculars and they were worthless because you couldn't do anything with them. It didn't make any difference. Wow, that stinks. We had a really large population of both swordfish and tuna last time I ran through this or loaded this in. But it just sucks because I got skunked. And now it seems like we've lost sight of our population of fish. Erg. I'm confident that we'll find some. I'll catch you guys in a minute when I do. 
All right, there's some swordfish, guys. I have been swimming around for, or boating around for a while. I got kind of an unlucky spawn here. This has not been the greatest uh, day for fishing so far. But I think we'll be able to get some of these. And I don't know, I don't really see any other things going on. Hopefully as the day progresses, we'll have more of these fish coming in. But right now, this area is kind of dead. So I don't know what happened. When I was here yesterday, there was like hundreds of these fish. But right now, there's nothing. So we'll cut the engines. And I want to show you something. We're going to leave the the wheelhouse and get on downstairs. Make sure when you go to uh, catch the fish, you sit in the seat first. Otherwise, you'll end up going back up to the tower the next time you go out. Um, we got one right off our bow here, but he's swimming away. So we're going to have to wait until they come around. We're going to watch these fish and see their pattern. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure their pattern out pretty quick and um, do some catching. Now, babe, if, uh, hang on a second, folks. I'll be right back. When the fish come closer, I'll get I'll pop back in. Here comes one right in front of us. Nope. Urgh. These things are hard to hit, man. I'll tell you that. You have to aim pretty high above them. And we got them. When they're fighting, you got to watch that your line doesn't turn red. Otherwise, you'll lose them. You, just, you might have to let them out a little bit. But when they stop fighting like that, when they don't kick the spread anymore, you can bring them in. And he'll probably fight one more time because we got to get them all the way up. Nope, we got him. So we've caught our first swordfish of the day. Hopefully that's a good sign for how the day is going to go today. But really, it's dead out here. Dang. You gotta really aim above them, and that's what—that's where I made my mistake. I did not. There we go. And we're just gonna hold him as close as possible till he stops fighting, and then bring him in. Here we go. And we should have this guy in too. Boom! Second fish of the day. And so this guy—he's not. Doesn't look like he's gonna come over this way. But we'll wait a little bit longer and see what he does. Uh, anyway, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little frustrated that I. I had a beautiful day yesterday, caught $50,000 worth of fish, and today, nothing so far. I mean, we've got, this is probably $15,000 right here with the three of these fish. That's good, but it wasn't anything like yesterday. Let that line cool off. Even if you got to let them out a little bit, it's better than losing them. Like I said, we may have to, yep, he's going to fight again, so we'll let him out a little bit. Just watch the color of the line. That line got pretty red there, I got to watch. I think we'll get him this time. And he caught. So we've caught all three of the swordfish. I see a tuna out there. Uh, but all single fish, no schools today. Or I guess, I don't know if you call them packs, if they're... If it's a hunting fish, a is it? A no, a shoal is like a. Um, it's still a oh, I thought shoals were like where the the land comes up higher, closer to the surface of the water. I thought that's called a shoal. Are you sure? Hold on, one second, folks. All right, so we're gonna look around for some more fish here, tuna. Why is your sonar doing that? Because you're all, it's only 18 meters deep there. It's right under your boat. So it's showing you how the level of the ground is. Once again, the right side of your your um, sonar is what's happening right now. The left side is what happened a couple minutes ago. So it's basically a timeline. Red backwards from right to left. So right now it's 19 meters. A while ago it was less than that. See what I'm saying? Uh, so we looked it up. A shoal is indeed a, a rise of or a ridge of land under the water that comes near the surface. Um, and then it is called a a group of swordfish uh, swimming together is called, believe it or not, a flotilla of swordfish. That's pretty cool. So we're looking for swordfish specifically. I'm not going to bother with the tuna. 
maybe, I don't know, we'll see. If we don't find anything else, then we'll go for tuna, but I really want to get all sorts of fish. Okay, we've got some fish out there. There's a school of uh, tuna right there. What's up, honey? There you go. That's what you want to go for. Those are usually the big fish. Okay, we've got a nice grouping of uh, tuna out there. I don't see any more swordfish, but we'll continue in this direction. Since the hunters are here, usually that's a sign that uh, there's other fish around. In the meantime, we can turn off our lights. We don't really need uh, any of these lights on anymore. Oh, there we go. There's some off our... Uh, bow right there. We have a several more uh, single swordfish. None of them are in a flotilla, but there's at least a uh, flotilla of five. So, what's up, honey? That could be another boat. Uh, we're cutting right into his path. I didn't want to do that. But. All right, well, that is what it is. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. There are swordfish all over the place, which is great news. This should be a, I don't know if we'll fill up the boat with this, but we're in a good spot here. We'll let them get a little closer. Unfortunately, they're all swimming away from me right now, so we'll have to wait till they turn around. But we'll, I can catch at least three of them from here, and we may have to move the boat to catch some of the other ones, but... There you have it. All right, so I'll wait, and I'll catch up with you once they start coming back this way. All right, here they come. Yeah, but it's, I'm saying it's easier to see them from the poop deck, from the mast. It's not called a poop deck. Yes, it is. There's a steering wheel up there. They literally have them set up like that so that you can see. Oh, dang it. They're just too far away. This guy's coming closer, though. What? I'm calling BS on that one. Got him. You jerky fish. You thought you were going to get away. You're not. Unless I... Did you find one? If you find one, there'll be more. Usually they, they're in groups. All right, so don't let them break the line. Just let them, gotta let them out a little bit. It's okay. There we go. Bring them in. That's a bodie bodie. They'll, you'll start seeing them closer than that. Like they won't. I'll show you in a second. Hang on, let me catch this guy. Nope, that was too low. And he's gonna swim past. You'll really see them kind of in the mid, in your mid view when they start to appear. So, like, if you're looking, like, not all the way out, but about where the white starts, like where you yeah. can't see the waves, that's usually when you start to spot them. Like, they'll be black dots. These guys are too far. I think we're not outside of their circle. Well, wait, though. These guys are going to come around again. We should be able to get them. If not, I'll have to move up a little bit. But sweet. All right, let's try to get this. They're definitely not close in. Like, they'll... I, I, <laughs> that was way over. <sighs> so hard to... Yeah. And that is also a strategy is to see where other people are fishing because a lot of times they'll have they'll be in spots that have fish. Oh, dag nabbit. Here's another trial, another chance. But they're all still going the wrong way. He turned. Arg, you kill hauled me. They're going to change positions, so we're going to... I don't know. I 
I feel like that one kind of joined them. Oh, well, we'll wait for a minute and see what they do. I might have to reposition the boat. All right. No, they're not coming back within my range now. That's they're too far out. So we're gonna. Uh, I'm sure somebody could probably hit that, but I'm not. I do a lot better if I. If I get a little closer, so we're just gonna shoot out here to where they are. And they schooled up. Look at that. I like that. They weren't a group before, but they are now. So let's see what happens. I'm hoping that they don't continue to go around the back of my boat. So we'll just watch the pattern here. If I see them swing around and come back forward, I might have overshot, which I tend to do. There's some, oh, there's a school of tuna up there. Nah, which way are they headed? No, they're changing pattern again. And so that flotilla of swordfish have changed pattern on me. going this way now, so we're going to, and, oh, I overshot, dang it, okay, get out the seat, get out there on the thing, you're going to miss your opportunity, come on, go, oh, you dork, take as long as you want, dude, because we got all day, Yep, it's another one. Boom, missed. Oh, come on, get it. Pull it back in. Pull it back. Oh my god, take forever, why don't you? <laughs> well, we got one of them. I want to see if we stay here, if they come back around this way. Uh, but we did get one, so that's good. We want to get all four of those, though. Like I said, I really don't want to come home with tuna. I want to come home with all swordfish. So, hoping that... Let's see what they do. I think my boat's also turned since I got here, but we'll see. Is that it? Is that what I'm it's close to that. Yeah, that's I've been driving around that. It's in that area. You'll see it when you get there. It'll show up as a question mark on your map. Dang it, these guys are staying out now. Oh, you got to move up again. And that's normal for them to change. When you get too close to them with the boat, they'll change pattern. So we've kind of pushed them out. The worrying thing right now for me is I don't see any other schools out there or flotillas out there. I just, this is the group. So we may have to call it a quits after this group. I'm going to drive more, I'll drive around more and see. I'll head south. But I'm not seeing many more fish out here. That's it. Yep. Yep. And so just in that area in general, I've been finding a lot of swordfish. Run out there. Here they come. They're coming right at us. No, I'm, I'm south right now, and I'm finding them, but. Okay, he's not fighting right now. Bring him in. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Got him. Okay, so let's see what these guys do now. Once again, I'd ride a little higher, like do the mass fishing thing again. Here, look.
Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. All right. These guys are coming up. They're going to pass the boat on the left-hand side here. Seems like they turn about halfway through. I might be able to get both of them. We'll see. Or miss both. Don't get cocky. Really? Come on. Reload. Are you kidding? Oh, God. All right. They've come again. Let's get them this time. Hopefully I can get one of them. Got him. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Come on, come on, you get this guy, come on. Yeah. It's part luck. Definitely. Don't want that line break. Alright, reel him in, reel him in, reel him in. Come on, get in here. Quit fighting. Man, just can't break that line. Don't let it get hot. Oh, come on, pull him in. Stay put. Got him. We got him this time. There we go. Fish caught. Uh, all right. So. Got some fish. Uh, so that's it for this clutch. Uh, we got 500, 500 kilograms more fish. So we've got room for probably four, four more. Let's see if we can actually find four more. Um. We'll head upstairs. Come on. And take over the wheel. All right. So I don't really see anything else around here. Might have fished them all out. I'll tell you what, the one day I was here and there was like 50 of them. Now there's like nothing. But we haven't traveled very far either, so we'll go ahead and travel a bit. Which way are we headed? <laughs> What's that? Fish. No. Dirt. All right, guys. I'll be back when I find something. I'm going to poke around here for a bit and see if I can find more fish. All right. I've gone back to... I jump back to the... The fast travel point and come back. And lo and behold, there's three more swordfish here. So we're going to go ahead and collect these. That might be enough for us to fill the boat up. So and these guys are just hanging out. Hmm. That doesn't look natural. Maybe he's sick. Maybe I don't want to catch these. No, there's a bunch of them out there. Look at that. Okay, so I need to leave the driving wheel. The driving position. And again. And then we're going to go out here on the, the bow. Weird. This must be bugged. Because he's not swimming until I catch him. I feel almost guilty catching these. Let's see, will this guy start moving? I guess this is a good way to practice targets. <laughs> I 
Okay, I don't like that, so I'm not going to... I'm going to save and reload. Uh, so we're going to go here, and let's see, save game? I can't. Oh, can't save while hauling, so I have to go back in. There we go. Now I should be able to save. There we go. We're going to save the mattress. Save. Yep, overwrite the save game. And we're going to close this, and I'm going to reload the game. Where are we? Empty. Is that right now? Hang on. Wait, I'm so confused right now. Slot one, save. Yes. Overwrite save, yeah. Okay. Load. Slot one. There we go. That, I feel more comfortable about that. I want to reload in because I don't, I'm not happy with the fact that the fish, I'm not going to catch fish that are not moving. That's ridiculous. That's cheating. <laughs> you said I would. That's cheating. And there's, are they still not moving? They're still not moving. So then we're, what we're going to do then is we're going to do this. I'm going to try to jump. We might have to restart the game. I'm going to jump to the lighthouse. This wastes some time and fuel, but I I would prefer to do this and keep it, you know, more realistic. It's not fair to catch stuff like that. And we'll head back out to German Point or German Bank. Why can't I fast travel? There we go. 3.3 .3 nautical miles, arg. No more pirate voice, I promise. I promise. I'll not do pirate voice again, I promise. Arg. <laughs> I'm going to have to shut the game down and reload all the way, because they are still not moving. They're in different positions, but they're bugged. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, we've reloaded, and the fish are back. This time they're swimming. We have some tuna up ahead. Uh, swordfish are kind of missing from the quotient here. So I'm going to pan around here and head back to the south a little bit where we've been finding other swordfish and see if we can't find some. But there are some tuna right by the buoy. And I was not uh, sailing from the mast, so I feel a little bit cheaty here that I'm in the boat in wide view. You really can't see as far, though, from the boat view, can you? Yelp. If I can't find anything, I need to go to bed soon. So if I can't find anything aside from tuna, we'll catch some tuna. But... Uh, once again, the swordfish really are where the money's at. So uh, we really can only fit one or two more, maybe three. We got. I'm gonna say two more fish, and we're done. Uh, there's more tunas. Okay, where's the buoy? There's the buoy. So these are different tuna, but no swordfish. Bunch of tuna. We'll keep heading this direction. funny how the game works just what we it spawns in different fish at different times but it seems like German Bank is a good spot to find both types of fish so now after this mission I like I said I would go fish somewhere else using a different kind of fishing um, you don't want to over harvest the fish because you will end up uh, killing off the schools of fish and then there'll be no additional fish for a while um, so you really don't want to, like, decimate a population of fish. One boat full is probably all you really want to do and then move on to a different area. That's what I would recommend anyway. Um, you could see it in Fishing Baron Sea. If you fished overfished an area too much even with that game, you would kill off the population, and you'd have to wait a long time before they came back, maybe even like a year. So you're better off just letting them repopulate. Nothing, huh? No swordfish today. Well, let's go ahead and grab some tuna. I need to get to bed. Uh, it's way late. And we need to go see these. 
Captain Simone and Captain Arthur need to head to bed. What? Captain Simone has said she's not going to bed until she's caught a fish. That's a that's a an ultimatum right there. Okay. Get out there, man. Let's get these tunas and get to bed. <laughs> this one of these is hopefully going to be mine. Bam. Gotcha. Can we get this other one? Turned around. Come on. Yeah. He's going to have to have to let him out. So I'd say our load is going to be about 60,000 bucks here when we are in port. Got him. All right. Sweet. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, if we go into the cabin, I think you're going to see that we're pretty full. Uh, so we'll look at what we got left. Yeah, we got 26,000, 2,600, 26,000, 2,600 kilograms of fish caught today. And that will do it. Um we can't really hold any more than that. We try to. We might be able to get one more fish on, just. But I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to head back in, um, and then we'll take the Borga out on the next turn, because the Borga is. Um, we'll, we'll head somewhere else and try a new fishing ground because I want to. Like I said, I don't want to over harvest these places. So let's go ahead and take a look here, and we're going to go ahead and jump. So let's see what we made today. It's going to be a decent amount of money. Um, once again, these fish are these sports fish are, are worth quite a bit. So we should see. Uh, let's go ahead and tie in. Yep, we'd like to sell our fish at Yarms. I, I was right on the money there. I said sixty thousand bucks, and there it is, sixty thousand one hundred. The tuna are definitely. This is a bad price for tuna, but. Uh, I guess you could probably not have to sell them. And you could get 51000 for our swordfish, which is the average price. <coughs> Save the tuna for another port, but I'm just going to sell them all. I don't want to bother trying to find another port right now. Let's go ahead and sell those. And so there we go. Very happy with that. So we are now at $100,000, and we're going to take the Borg out. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this foray into sword fishing. Uh, I definitely had fun out there tonight and uh, catching some swordfish and actually doing it right for the first time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on World of Boats. Just kidding. This is Fishing North Atlantic. Have a great night. Bye.